But let's talk about this article. It's interesting. There's a guy that moved. It's from a business insider. That's the rag that just ran that hit piece on Davey Portnoy. And they were going to run a hit piece on me. And one comic, this kid who was an open mic comedian who quit, then went to work for Business Insider, interviewed me. I was down in Florida. He called me. I spoke to him for an hour. You know, uh, uh, you know the question, you know, Alex Jones and you did a podcast together. What was that about? <laughs> what was it like? What do you, you say some things that anger people. Why do you do it? What is it about? And I sat there in a parking lot smoking cigarettes, suffering through this interview because nobody asks any good questions. Really. Where are you from? <laughs> Were you always a contrarian? <laughs> Did you know Alex Jones when you were a baby? They're the worst questions ever because journalists are stupid. They're not, and they're not journalists. Journalists are people who have white hair and sit in libraries and look at microfiche and they try to solve the Kennedy assassination. Shannon knows we've had them on the show. <laughs> they have no money. No one buys their books. No one cares. And they die alone and unfulfilled. Those are journalists. Or they go to like a war-torn country. They run around that country. People shoot at them. They get some guy to give them some story at a cafe. They win a Pulitzer Prize. A year later, no one cares. They get diagnosed with cancer because they were too close to, like, live ammunition. And they die alone and unfulfilled. This is what journalists are. And then you have stenographers, meaning that they just write down things the government wants them to say. Those people have big houses. They're on TV a lot. They write books that are always put out there. They're in the front of the bookstore. And it's like, uh, it's just a picture of, uh, you know, God only knows, you know, Winston Churchill or FDR. And they're like, they wrote a, a history of him, which someone else wrote. They just kind of grabbed it. It's ghostwritten. <laughs> They said, the greatest generation, you know, <laughs> Tom Broker, any of those guys. And their books are pushed because they don't make any trouble. They don't cause any problems. And they're, you know, and they lie, you know, like Brian Williams, the guy who just made things up and he lies. And they all lie because no one catches them. And lying is like a drug. You get intoxicated with doing it if nobody catches you. And that's so those are the, the class of journalists. And then you have these like New York media types who like write for these glorified blogs and they don't have any money and they eat ramen and they live on the floor and they have a, a degree from like Syracuse University or some other embarrassing school. Oh, the new house school of journalism is good. Who cares? Uh, or Columbia, which is an Ivy or whatever. And they're at, these people are so mad that they don't have talent. They're so, and, and so they love other people that don't have talent. So they love unfunny comedians. They love it. And they write stories like, who's the next biatch? Because they have no talent. And they go, where can I go to find people that, like me, are incredibly deficient in any noticeable skill? <laughs> and they find them and they go, these are 25 comedians that you're going to know. And they get in this little group of people and no one cares and they don't have any money and they get angry at people like Dave Portnoy uh, because he, he's, again, has a media operation and he's taking eyeballs away from people like CNN, uh, from uh, ESPN and bigger um, uh, platforms that are losing eyeballs to Barstool Sports. In the same way that our Patreons, like the number two in America, there are people that lose... Uh, eyeballs and ears or whatever to us because they enjoy this show. So the New York media types, and it's not, oh, and I don't mean Jews. And I don't, so don't tweet at me. And, <laughs> and because there's a lot of Christians doing this too, shamefully. And probably a few Scientologists, I'm kidding, the Scientologists are, they've, they've figured it out. Mm -hmm. But the New York media, because New York is the media capital of the world, these people are always, they always have it out for people like Rogan and because these guys are threat independent operations are threats. They are big threats. That's why I don't run away from the media. You can call me media all day. I don't really care. Um, I think it's 
Uh, funny media. If I am media, you just also have to be media sitting at a desk with a suit on working for NBC and the Saudi royal family. You also have to be considered media. If I'm media, you're media. We're all media, baby. So this comic calls me, what's it like to be you? Uh. And then I answer all the questions. Then I forget about it completely because I don't care about it. And Business Insiders is, uh, you know, is a rag. But we're going to talk about their anti-work article. But a lot of people have this article. The Guardian, whatever. This is the one that caught my eye. It's a rag. And they write inflammatory stuff like this article. is kind of like, no one's, there's a movement because this is meant to piss off people that are working. They write an article like this. You're like, nobody's working anymore. You are, sucker. And and Dave Portnoy's going to spit in your daughter's mouth tomorrow. Dave Portnoy's choking your daughter today. How does that make you feel? You got a wife? Well, Dave Portnoy's choking her. He's choking women in Nantucket. He's running around Nantucket, grabbing every woman he sees at the farmer's market and spitting down the throat. I'm true. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be what's happening, Okay. I did go to Barstool Sports, and he spit in my mouth. It was a bit, I think. It was a joke. I don't know. He spit in my mouth and said pig and then walked away. It was jarring, but not entirely unexpected, and it was somewhat enjoyable. He uh, has kind of proven they were after him. This comic calls me uh, the day the Portnoy stuff breaks, and he goes, hey, I quit Insider because they wouldn't run a hit piece on you. I don't know if you've wondered why the piece has never come out. And I said, I haven't wondered that because I don't care. I don't really know who you are. <laughs> and I, I was like the eating sushi parked in a handicap spot outside of Bristol Farms. And I was more concerned with that. And he goes, well, it didn't come out because they, they wanted me to run a hit piece on you. And I said, on me? They want to run a hit piece on me? And yes, they wanted to run a hit piece on me and say I was some reactionary right-wing lunatic nut job. You know the way these people operate. So I'm not too shocked by what happened to Dave and what will happen to anyone if you have an opinion that runs counter 